Hey, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. All right, so uh, we wanted to talk about tonight all kinds of things to keep ourselves healthy through the holidays. So Christy and I are going to talk about how to stay well through the chaos and the family gatherings. So this can be a time of year when people feel awful for various reasons, as well as feel awesome for various reasons. So <laughs> she's holding these. my Christmas up. spirit. Oh, I love Christmas spirit. That is actually one of my favorites. Isn't it great? I'm loving it. It is so time. great. It's very, it's even all year round. I use it all year round. Do you? Okay. <laughs> So um, now, so Christmas can bring on all kinds of things. So even from like stress or catching a cold or flu, there are all kinds of things that happen to people through the holidays, right? So um, now I have a protocol that I follow that I think we've talked about before that when I actually feel an illness coming on, which isn't really going to be what we're talking about today, but like when I feel an illness coming on, I right away, like scrap all the sugar. Even I don't eat a ton of sugar, but I make sure like cutting out all the sugar because sugar feeds illnesses. And then I also do loads and loads of laundry every day. Cause I make sure all the sheets are clean, the pillowcases. So every single day, just to keep those pillowcases germ free, as well as airing no. out the house and, you know, especially airing out the bedroom. Cause if you are getting sick, right. You want to keep those germs out of the house. Um, fresh air exactly yeah and and this kind of thing can also help like with the sugar as well it can also help ward off a autoimmune flare because I often will get like all kinds of aches and pains from eating too much sugar same mm -hmm. so now with Thanksgiving you guys just had your Thanksgiving right a couple of weeks ago we had ours back in I think it was October it's like long gone right. in my memory <laughs> oh it's definitely long gone I'm still recovering but it's long gone <laughs> so with the Thanksgiving <laughs> and Christmas seasons with you know, lots of people call the holiday season. It can be a time of joy, but also a time of sadness. So many of us have lost, you know, friends and family members. And this time of year can really bring feelings of sadness and despair, as well as physical illness. So mindset can be really important to take care of, you know, our body, our mind, and really focus on ways to not feel like crap. Because <laughs> there's a lot that we do to ourselves that actually is self-sabotage. So now I know that many things are out of our control, right? Like a death in the family, perhaps, but we can still choose to nourish our body and mind with things that help the healing and grieving process, rather than just throw our health out the window because of an external event or influence. So even if you love this time of year and are excited about Christmas coming up, you may still find yourself in a sympathetic nervous system state of fight or flight. You know, even when we get excited, we can get that, you know, shooting of adrenaline and cortisol. And, you know, those just basically kick into high gear and this can actually cause digestive problems, sleep problems, cranky mood, skin breakouts, fatigue, heightened pain levels, headaches, and all kinds of other symptoms that put a damper on our holiday festivities and, you know, all the gatherings. So stress relief strategies are so important. And I know, Christy, you and I talk about this a lot, you know, all kinds of ways to basically try to calm down our system so things like yoga can be helpful meditation journaling gratitude I find that even just thinking of you know three people that I can tell today and tomorrow and the next day so three people every day just tell them something that you are grateful for in having them in your life that can just and it can make mm -hmm. their day too right <laughs> mm -hmm. everyone wants to hear that exactly um, exercise can help burn off that extra adrenaline and cortisol as well as those holiday calories. <laughs> What's that? I don't have any of that. <laughs> um, fresh air is a really good stress release strategy. And look at <laughs> are you getting sick? This is perfect no, timing. It's not the frog. It's like <laughs> carry on. I'm it's okay. I'm emotional over here. <laughs> So fresh air for me is kind of funny to talk about right now because like it's 25 below outside, um, but still very important for our overall health. So either open a window in the wintertime or at least you know, try to go outside as much as possible. But I know I'm not a winter girl. <laughs> I do not like the snow. <laughs> nope. But um, even just stepping outside for a few minutes at a time, taking some deep breaths or going for a walk can be really, really helpful. Oh. Eating, eating well and using essential oils which we will go into more in a minute, 
but um, you know, just super, super important. And another thing is Christy's specialty, schedule proper amounts of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very important. So, don't rely on feeling tired at your usual bedtime because you may be wired and revved up from all the energy of fa family gatherings, good energy or bad, um, and holiday parties too, right? So even if they're parties on Zoom, we can just get revved right up. And then, you know, you find yourself staying up until midnight or later and you just can't wind yourself down again. So um, kind of scheduling in that sleep is really important. Yeah, and my brain needs that wind up. Exactly, yeah. 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 So, and yeah, sometimes for, even for me, if I don't actually schedule my bedtime, sometimes, you know, it's like 1130 midnight and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm not even really doing anything. I'm just, I'm just up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So another yeah. thing that uh, for me is a stress relieving strategy. And I know that um, I talked to a lot of people that have either thought about it or they've maybe tried it once and they didn't really, um, they're not really too sure about it is creating a vision board. And this is a great activity that you can do solo or you can do with friends and family mm -hmm. and planning for the future in a fun, creative way can instantly make us feel more excited and hopeful than stuck in our current situation. If we're not happy with our current situation. Yep. I need to update mine. We usually do ours at New Year's, New Year's Eve. It's kind of like a tradition yeah. New Year's Eve thing that Mike New and I year. do and then we have New it on start. the wall we've like got it bolted right to the wall <laughs> it's a big huge one <laughs> that's awesome I love yeah. it yeah yeah so nutrition is a key piece of the wellness puzzle and good quality whole foods minimally processed not the packaged crap <laughs> um, those are really really important for our health and high scoring ORAC foods so ORAC is a measurement of antioxidant levels it stands for oxygen radical absorbance capacity, which mm -hmm. like no one ever remembers. I, I had to even look it up today because I, <laughs> I always forget what the, <laughs> the whole word. Uh, but foods with a high ORAC value or ORAC scores are better at neutralizing free radicals, which will actually help slow the oxidative processes and the damage that contributes to de degeneration and disease. Now, lots mm -hmm. of herbs and spices are very high in ORAC scores, as well as essential oils. So peppermint, oregano, clove, and cinnamon, for example, are really high in ORAC scores. So find ways to incorporate these into your meal ideas or uh, a mug of tea. <laughs> mug of tea. Mug your of coffee, tea. too. I put these yes. in peppermint. I don't usually use oils in coffee. I, hear, I know that you, like, lots of people do, and I think, like, you've talked about it before, and I'm just not, I don't know, I've put a drop of Thebes before in my coffee and wasn't a fan. So I don't know. I haven't tried any others. The peppermint's good with raw cacao. In your coffee? Oh, mm -hmm. in, a, in a chocolate, like a hot chocolate. Coffee, but a tablespoon of raw cacao with a little bit of thieves and or peppermint if you need that extra kick. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, that, that sounds worth trying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's good. Do it. Huh. All right. <clears throat> So uh, foods that score high in their ORAC score are walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds, cranberries, red kidney beans, which I had in my chili tonight, black beans, lentils, and uh, wolf berries, which are goji berries, and those are also in Ningxia red. Mm -hmm. um, so gut health is one of the keys to autoimmune healing, and good food for gut health are things like fiber, uh, so lentils, beans, potatoes, and uh, antioxidants like berries and other fruits, probiotic foods like tempeh, kombucha, sauerkraut, and apple cider vinegar. Now we don't actually take like shot glasses of the vinegar, which I know some people do, but- mm -hmm. um, I used to. We yeah. more use it in uh, recipes like the non-dairy cheese sauces or plant-based mayo. So we do actually, throughout the week, we actually have apple cider vinegar probably at least once a day but just in something else. <laughs> yeah. It's not great by itself, but no, no. And it can actually like, it feels like it's burning. So I don't know. We, we even tried like diluting it with water and it was like, I don't know, just, yeah. But yeah. in a recipe, it's totally, it. totally fine. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I make a salad dressing sometimes with a little bit of that in there. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so good for your gut health. Yeah. I know. For sure. Mm -hmm. So leafy greens um, also help develop a really good microbiome. So spinach and kale, for example, 
Um, so, and prebiotics help to feed the good gut bacteria. So bananas, potatoes, and oatmeal, oh, and garlic are really good sources of prebiotics. So, and vitamin C is important for our immune system as everybody knows. So there's another reason to be reaching for citrus fruits and berries. Mike and I also add vitamin C into our smoothies. Um, so oatmeal, you could like right now, just with the foods that I mentioned, you could have oatmeal for breakfast with berries in it, and then a fruit and veggie smoothie for lunch. Those are gonna be quick ways to help nourish your body with whole food plant-based ingredients and a focus on gut health. And if you can keep your gut microbiome balanced, you are so much more ahead of the game when it comes to your wellness. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> now, so foods that contribute to inflammation and compromised gut health will make you feel icky. And when you feel icky, you're more likely to make poor decisions. I know I do. I find that if I'm having a really kind of off day or a down day, those are the times that I want to reach for junk food, really because of just long standing habits. So all the Christmas treats like boxes of chocolates, trays of cookies, pastries, cakes, that bowl of ambrosia at the dinner table. I don't know. Do you know what, what ambrosia is? I, some people no. do and some people don't. It's like what a marshmallow. It? It's like a marshmallow salad, but served with dinner, like Christmas dinner, <laughs> not a dessert. Yeah. It's like served with dinner. <laughs> Seems like dessert to me. I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like marshmallows and sour cream and, and canned fruit and all kinds of stuff in there. Like I don't eat it now, but it's like um, a fruit salad kind with of. marshmallows. Yeah. We, we have a fruit salad like that, or we used to. Okay. So yeah, it's called yeah. ambrosia, but, or a week, okay. like, yeah, here in Canada, they call it ambrosia anyway. <laughs> Good to but know. These, these things are high in sugar. They're high in like the pastries and cakes. Usually people put butter in them or lots of oils. And this kind of thing contributes to illness rather than contributes to our wellness. And right. meat, dairy, and eggs are also inflammatory foods. So the film called Forks Over Knives will take you on a really deep dive into why this all is and what a plant-based diet can do to turn your health around. It has certainly worked for me. So I used to have four autoimmune conditions and including complex regional pain syndrome and lupus like those are nothing to sneeze at those are like major major right yeah and i've been off all medications now for almost five years and even my thyroid is normal now and yet i was told in 2011 i'd be on pills for life my whole life i'd be taking handfuls of pills and yeah no more so and that's just because of diet you know diet and lifestyle changes getting rid of the stress changing my diet eliminating chemicals. So um, it really is so important to make like much more conscious decisions around what we are doing for our wellness. And one of these things also is snacks. I find like, I'm a real snacker. Are you a snacker? Yes. Yeah. Every two hours. Every, oh, like on the, like, do you schedule them or it's just kind of your no, body's rhythm? That's when I'm hungry, but I also eat smaller meals. So I'm always, so, cause that makes, it doesn't, I feel better when I do that, but then I'm always, yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> I, I talk about meal planning a lot, but for me, snacking, I, I've got to plan out the snacks as well. So whether you prepare snacks to take with you somewhere to like, if you're going out for dinner or going to a party or something, or just to have around the house, um, I recommend preparing lots of whole food, plant-based homemade snacks. So things like granola bar bites or homemade granola bars cooked chickpeas. I love just like handfuls of cooked chickpeas. They're so good. <laughs> they can just be eaten as is, or you can throw them in a salad or throw them in soup. Yeah. Um, individual meal size containers of things like veggie chili, mashed potatoes. I love like, I mean, I rarely have leftover potatoes, but if I do have leftover potatoes, <laughs> just like, <laughs> I mean, reheat them the next day or two days later. Yeah. And so good. So that kind of thing, like it can really help, right? And it, like exactly. when you're not reaching for the bags of junk food or running over to the store for a bag of chips or something. Um, right. Finger foods that are fruit, like I'm not necessarily a, like I put bananas in smoothies, but I don't really like to eat bananas. So I love things like just like mandarin oranges or grapes. Like just, you can kind of, you know, more like finger food kind of stuff. Yep. Um, <clears throat> or make up what you already said, like the a fruit salad, although minus the marshmallows. <laughs> And I can make a fruit salad and then you can just dish up a, a dish of it whenever you get, you know, snackish. Yep. Do you want to make I, pardon? 
You ever make fat bombs? No. They're called, they're, they're like little, you put them in the ice cube tray and you freeze them. So you can do savory ones. You can do, if you want chocolate, you use raw cacao um, and coconut, you know, walnuts. So there's little ice cube bites and they they're packed with, uh, I'm not having a brain fart. That's what I do. Are they like um, oatmeal or like a granola bar have, kind of? They can be oatmeal. Yep. There's tons. You should Google it and see because those are great. Little bite size. They're filling. Um, Probably with like tahini or peanut butter or something to hold them together. Anything you want. You can do savory. You can do sweet. So if you want your, if you need a chocolate fix and you want to use like almond butter or the raw cacao, um, I add a few drops of my peppermint oil. So, I mean, there's so many. There's so many. If you go on Pinterest, there's so many. Awesome. So that's my, <laughs> that's my little, sorry. <laughs> That is awesome. Um, yeah. Other snacks that I love are going to be like garlic stuffed olives. Although like make sure that the olives aren't sitting in oil, like just, you know, like packed in water or whatever. Uh, pickles, hummus. I love hummus. So you can, you can use like a rice cracker if you want, or I mean, all kinds of veg, right? Just dip the, dip the veg in the hummus. And then if you're going to buy hummus then make sure to look for the oil free stuff, or you can make your own. It's super easy. Um, I've got a recipe for oil-free hummus on my website on one of my blog posts. Um, <clears throat> nuts are also great nutritious snacks, but very high in calories because of the oil yeah. content. So like if you're wanting to see your abs anytime soon <laughs> <laughs> and wanting to keep, you know, your arteries clear, then go easy on the nuts and seeds, but, um, feel free to totally pig out on all the fruits and veg and beans and the complex carbs that you can hold in your belly. So I find that when I start eating nuts, I suddenly am like eating handfuls of them and right. they can really pack on the calories <laughs> pretty quickly. <laughs> right. I know. So let's There's talk about essential oils. We've got like lots of essential oils are high in what well, we've already talked about the ORAC score, like clove. So that like antimicrobial, antibacterial, right? So that it's going to like fight off the germs and bugs and ginger. I love ginger for gut health, digestion. Mm -hmm. What do you use for di like, if you've had too much to eat too, uh, too much at Christmas dinner, what are you going to reach for for oils? I go for the digize and the peppermint. And I start with the digize because it's kind of the smellier one. I, yeah, right. I still can't get over like the smell to me is just not pleasant, but man, it works and so fast. Oh, and that's why I got over it. Yeah. So I start with my feet. I put it on the arch of my feet where your stomach is with pressure. And then whatever I have left on my hands, I put actually on my stomach. And then I go oil layering peppermint on top of that. So then the smell is gone really pretty fast. And then peppermint mm -hmm. on my stomach again. So that's that's how I use it. I also use it for cramps. Um, any digest? Digest yeah. and peppermint. Yep. Cramps. Nausea. Yeah. yeah. That, those two are my go-to for stomach everything. That's awesome. Now, so when we're talking about kind of like Christmas holidays and, and, you know, stress and all that kind of stuff, what, what oils do you like for like if you know you're going to run into like a family member you don't like or <laughs> or someone at a party that you know that you've had some kind of issues with or something that you, you know, you just want to like de-stress before the, the event even happens, what are you going to reach for first? I rotate. Uh, and there's so many, right? It's so hard. But um, stress away is one for sure. Stress away and peppermint are the two I carry in my purse. Um, oh, okay. uh, Valor is really good for the extra stress for me, um, anxiety, that all that kind of stuff that just really just kind of brings me down, keeps me keeps me sane. And I use Endoflex a lot. Um, I don't know. Do you have that one? Yeah. It's great mm -hmm. for moods. Great for hormones. Great for all of that stuff. So I definitely keep that to keep my mood at bay. That's, That's awesome. Yeah. I use Endoflex quite a bit. Like I, I try to use it daily. I sometimes, you know, forget, but um, yeah, morning and night. And for me too, if I'm going to have a stressful situation come up or, you know, if I'm 
Yeah, anything that, or if I'm really upset, if I've just gotten bad news or something like that, it, uh, Northern Lights Black Spruce is one of my all-time faves. It just I've like, heard that a lot. seems to bring it. me right down. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. I need to try it. Yeah. Like if I'm crying to you, like I've had like really bad news where like a friend has like something really terrible has happened or, you know, that kind of thing where I'm like really upset crying. The Northern Lights Black Spruce just like helps me breathe again and come That's back awesome. to come back to earth <laughs> just yeah okay like ground me and make me think okay like deep breaths I can handle this right. so yeah it's fantastic I love it that's awesome I, I love how all the oils work so differently with everybody that's true yeah for sure and like it's important to just kind of keep trying different ones and see what works best for exactly. each person yeah yeah for and sure. do you rotate oils I do, I do rotate a lot of them. Some, some like my go-to ones though, I tend to just like use them all the Keep, time. <laughs> I know me too. But then once in a while I'll go, Oh wait, I don't think it's really working today. Like it's been, maybe I need to go to my backup, you know? And I don't know. Hmm. That's just me. My body's just so sensitive that it's like, nah, over it. <laughs> I mean, I use so many that yeah, I definitely don't use them all every day. Cause I like, I think I have, I don't know, 40, probably at least 40 on my oils, like yeah. rack thing that's on the wall. So I definitely don't use them all every day. <laughs> that's a lot. It is a lot. I have little things in every room and my apartment is not big. <laughs> so one right here, one over there, one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom. Yep. That's awesome. They're everywhere. And so my other... wall. <laughs> Help yourself. Come on into my store. Okay. I'm coming over. <laughs> I know. That'd be so fun. It would be. <laughs> okay. So some of the other oils that, um, that I know you've talked about in some of your lives as well, and that I've talked about for mood and stress and restful sleep are citrus oils and lavender and cedar wood and so many of the tree oils as well. But for me, the citrus oils, I can't use them at night because they're just, they really do energize me. And then I, especially the lemon wide awake with lemon so I cannot use lemon at night so but daytime is awesome if I'm feeling kind of down and like sluggish I know exactly what oil to reach for <laughs> yep oh absolutely the citrus oils are so energizing and happy orange is my favorite it's my happy oil yeah so that's yeah <laughs> yeah you know and, and know back that. to sleep as well so when we sleep well we feel so much better the next day, right? If you like, if you don't get sleep, then you notice how crappy you feel. So whatever oil you can figure out to get a good night's sleep. And for me, that combo is lavender and cedar wood. And I actually will either diffuse the two of those together or I'll put little drops of them on my pillowcase. And both of them are actually really good for skin health as well. So I'm not worried about like rubbing my face into the pillow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I usually do this. The skin. <laughs> I just rub it on my face. <laughs> Bye-bye, yeah. wrinkles. Bye-bye. <laughs> so another thing for um, that I want to talk about is terpenes, just briefly. So terpenes are plant constituents that are also in essential oils, but um, actual terpenes are taken under the tongue sublingually, and you can feel the effects within minutes, like almost immediately. Okay. So there's a terpene called chill, which I love, love, love for anything... Yeah anxiety, calming, that kind of thing. Um, comfort helps with pain relief and it also has a calming effect to it as well. And so basically it helps with sleep in kind of a roundabout way. And then there's a new one called slumber. So it actually helps specifically for sleep. And I find that like two, two of the really big, big things for our overall wellness and our stress, our ability to handle stress is going to be our nutrition and our sleep. So all of those things, if we can kind of like get into a sleep habit, get into a schedule, use products that we know that will help our body with sleep. And then if we're eating really well, it's, I mean, we're ahead of the game that way. 100%. It's easier said than done for sure. It is. I, yeah. I struggle. Mm -hmm. We all have our days. Yeah. But that's why we're here to talk about it and remind people and each other and myself. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's hear some of your, like, some of your tips and tricks. <laughs> what are your go-tos? <laughs> oh. How are you going to survive the holidays? <laughs> well, so my Thanksgiving trip, my holiday trips are already done. I, I had Thanksgiving and um, 
I survived it. <laughs> oiled up. I was oiled up and I was trying to put oils under everyone's nose, trying to calm everyone down. <laughs> I did that at a wedding a couple years ago. <laughs> I was like, here, you need to sniff this. <laughs> yep. And I don't care if you don't like the smell, just do it. Trust me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my big trip is done. Um, but I will, I will say that I used Valor. Um, so daytime I use the Endoflex. I mean, that's just, I can't, I can tell when I don't use it. So really, I'm like, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, it helps with hormone stuff. And I'm kind of at that age where things are happening really slowly, but they're happening. So I just like to be prepared. So I, I just, I use that every day. And then I use, um, Oh, like I said, Valor and stress away. I, I, I used a lot of oils this trip. He yeah. didn't call me for a night mm -hmm. and cedar wood, um, cedar wood. I know we just talked about this recently, how it, at first it smells like cat pee, right? And I was saying to you, it still does <laughs> in the last couple of days. It's, it's changed to a sweeter smell. I'm not kidding. Like all of a sudden my I body love I love, love, love the smell of cedarwood. It is so sweet smelling to me now. And like, yes. I know the cat pee thing really turns off people, but keep with it. It literally just, yes, it literally just happened. And it's been like five years. I don't even know. It's been, and I use it. I still used it. So my yeah. tip for oils and sleep is diffusing. Um, but, oh yeah. And luckily I had a diffuser where I was, where I was, but I also use the big toe. Um, is your brain. So I put sleepy oils on the big toe with pressure on both, both feet, both toes. And recently I just learned that if you go to where the toe and the foot meet, that's actually the special spot. So, Oh, wow. With pressure. Like, yeah. It, it tells your brain and it, it, it kicks in the melatonin or something. So it does a whole cool cool thing i love oils on my feet i i, I send people charts daily i do rarely that. put the only oils i think i put on my feet are just thieves and i do that at night yeah. other than that yeah. i i mean unless and I do that in the morning huh okay I, I need to start doing more of that and see see what happens <laughs> yeah look up look up the foot chart okay it's pretty cool because it's connected awesome. to your whole body so if that's like all you have time to do or you know I mean, you can also put it on your brain and you can also, and I do all of that, but I just need to like have extra protection around my sleep because it's not great. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's my, and I, I, I rotate, I do the cedar wood, um, for a couple of days. So yeah, it's amazing because all these oils do so many things like this little bottle. I'm like, oh, well you need this so you can breathe and relax and to changing the colors and it's just cozy and. Yeah. So anyways, did you, you were frozen for a minute. Are you okay? I was, yeah. Well, you were frozen and then my internet said it was unstable. Oh. So now I'm wondering like it's possibly another snowstorm coming in. Yay. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> oh goodness. So, so, and do you use oils when you're doing yoga or um, do you kind of just like, it's just yoga for you when you're doing it? It's both, eh? Yeah, it's, I do, I, well, I use oils for kind of pretty much everything. And depending on how I feel, how tired I am, how my body's feeling, I really have to pay attention to like every move I make and what's going to make it better or worse in the moment. Um, so I kind of cut back on my yoga just because of the, all the vertigo stuff. Um, because I couldn't, I, sometimes I can't turn my head. So oh really causes a bit of a problem. Yeah. When your no yoga kidding. makes it. Um, so I'm, but I stretch, you know, three or four or five times a day at work, um, at home, as I get out of bed and into bed and in the shower and walking to my car. <laughs> um, but I, I'm always powered by oils and frankincense is my go-to for the grounding, calming, it's literally just one. yeah it's so so good for everything it's a good it's, immune support too mm -hmm. yeah i just got him in my on my freebie this month 
That's awesome. <laughs> I did Frank dance. <laughs> That's how much I love it. <laughs> well, and a good, um, like you could make either a roll-on or a nasal inhaler with uh, orange and frankincense and lavender. So that's like an immune, yep, like an immune shield, an immune barrier. So, you know, good to kind of help like ward off the coughs and colds and all that kind of nasty right. stuff. So, yeah. Right. Those, well, those that's what he really does good. too, right? Yeah. Um, I use another one of my favorite ones, which I think is supposed to help with kind of like supporting allergies and that kind of same stuff is peppermint, lavender, and lemon. Yes. And that's one of my favorite blends any day. It's just very, it's kind of uplifting, but calming and fresh. So it reminds me of springtime. And I think like basically because so many people use that in the spring for helping with their allergies, that that's when I started using it as well. So I think now when I use that combo, yeah, it just reminds me of spring. It's a good memory. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. So what do you do when you meditate and do yoga and all that stuff? What oil do you use? I tend to actually not use the oils um, when I'm doing, I just like, I, I really kind of look at yoga more as like my exercise. <laughs> so It can be. And I do like, I end up being so calm afterwards that I, I haven't really incorporated oils into it. Cause I haven't really, I guess, nice. felt like I needed that extra relaxation factor. Um, although I did a really cool thing a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine gave me like, like an energy, I don't even know what to call it an energy session or something. It was wow. like, yeah, she did it. It was over zoom. Cause she's in Dubai <laughs> and it was the wow. coolest thing. So I did use oils. It was kind of like a meditation, a guided meditation is I guess a good way to put it, yeah. um, with oils. And she it was kind of like a cross between meditation and hypnosis really it was the coolest thing so yeah frankincense and what wow. did I use um I had a couple of them and they really did actually help and I felt like they kind of brought out yeah. a bit more like imagination and creativity but also calmness all kind of this like yeah it was the most That's amazing cool. feeling <laughs> it was really cool <laughs> that sounds awesome yeah where do I send that <laughs> yeah she does sessions so yeah I'll uh I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Give you the info. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, and yeah. so that's what that's what I was gonna say is that when I do the yoga, the meditation, it enhances it when you use oils because you're doing all the deep breathing, right? So if you if you're sitting by a diffuser or you rub a few on your, you know, your third eye and your fifth eye and your nose and your, all your things, right? <laughs> it just helps because you're you're breathing it in. I, mean, I don't know how many eyes I have some days. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes none. <laughs> Um, I do love though for breathing I, I like the eucalyptuses and I actually like I keep them beside my computer so if I start to get like the voice thing or yeah yeah then reach for the for the eucalyptus usually it's RC but I know I'm, uh, I'm out know. of the RC right now <laughs> so just see oh so my RC is empty but I'm still sniffing it it does last in the bottle quite a while I know yeah. it's a super old bottle and I had remember you saying that and that's how I've been feeling. So I'm like, putting it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why am I single? Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So any, uh, any last tips with uh, surviving and surviving the holidays and not getting all frazzled and <laughs> losing, your, frazzled, losing your stuff? Fizzle. So you don't fizzle out? <laughs> you don't fizzle out. <laughs> I... I guess for me, it's just like knowing when to say no, right? Go home when it's time to go home. Don't overbook um, and make time to move your body. And, and then when you do have the cheat, you know, I feel like you got to have a cheat meal. I, that's just me. Um, yeah. So just be prepared and make sure that you're also eating all the other healthy things to keep your body going, literally moving. Um, I do use grapefruit oil um it breaks up the fat in your belly so that keeps your digestive flowing and it also can if you use it every day and you're walking and working out and moving your body can help you with kind of losing weight and stuff so um that's another another tool I use as long as well as with lemongrass on the bottom of my feet um it is just a great detox 
So I that's just, another I, one of my favorites. I love lemongrass. I know. Me too. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, drink your water. And if you need to put a drop of lemon in it or whatever, just drink it. True. I like the grapefruit in the water too. The grapefruit is like so sweet because it's like from the peel, right? So yeah, it smells so lovely. <laughs> I know. And a lot of people, I do lemon every day. And a lot of people say, well, doesn't that like eat your enamel and isn't it acidic? No, because what you just said is it's made from the peel. So I can't do a lot of acid, acidic foods. So the lemon, the lemon drops in my water doesn't bother me. And it's actually better for you. It has more antioxidants. So definitely drink. And here's the, like, here's the vitality. You can't, there you go. We have the vitality line. So it is pure enough to ingest and makes your water taste good. And it's another way to be healthy. So easy. Absolutely. And great point about the teeth, like the sensitivity and the, the that, because for me, I cannot do like actual pieces of lemon in a one glass of water. Right. My it's, teeth get so sore so fast. Oh, like super painful. But yeah, the, the lemon oil yeah. or grapefruit oil, no problem at all. Right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and then I do this. Oh, shoot. Where's my peppermint? I have one cool thing that I like to share with everybody. It's called a peppermint shot. So let's just pretend this is peppermint. I'm not going to actually do it because I don't have my water, but pretend I meant to have this ready. So, it, you know, it's like a tequila shot, but it's peppermint. So okay, put a few drops right where you would, and then you lick it, right? The peppermint, like two drops of peppermint, you lick <laughs> it and you take a full glass of water and you just drink it and wow. you feel it all the way down. So you immediately have fresh breath. You immediately have energy. Your stomach is feeling so much better in a second. It's amazing. And that would be really good to do after a full meal, right? Like after dinner or if you've eaten yep. something that just isn't agreeing yeah. with you. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> yep. This is my favorite. I, I, anyone that if I'm out and I have my peppermint, if we're at a restaurant, I'm like, let's do peppermint shots. And some people like it. Some people don't drink enough water. So it's burning. I'm like, you've got to keep drinking the water until it stops. I mean, it goes away in a minute in less than a minute. Right. But I'm like, wait, do you see how good you feel? Like it's, that's so awesome. Afternoon boost. Without calories. Is. Like how, how brilliant is that? Right. Genius. <laughs> yeah. I know people laugh at me, but I, I don't care. That's amazing. I well, feel better. Too many people will reach for a coffee, right? At two o'clock in the afternoon or three o'clock in the afternoon, reach for a coffee. Cause you're feeling kind of blah, like, especially if you're right. you know out working or whatever. Right. And then that caffeine just stays with you and then you can't sleep and you're up half the night and it's just a vicious cycle that people can't get out of. So yeah. something as simple as just a peppermint shot. <laughs> so simple. So easy. It's kind of fun. I'm doing That's shots. Awesome. It's a big deal. <laughs> um, right. And a lot of people say, oh, caffeine doesn't bother me or I can, I still sleep well. But, but you know, that's great. I don't believe it, but Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think for most people, caffeine does do, mm -hmm. you know, it does affect them. So yeah. yeah, 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 I think so. Even if you don't really feel a huge effect, I think it still does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this was Other awesome. That, yeah. Other than that, I just wanted to say happy holidays to everybody and breathe deeply. <laughs> yes. Hope, hope everyone survives <laughs> Yeah, without being too frazzled. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully we've given, you know, we've given people some great tips to pick and choose the ones that kind of resonate with you and, you know, yeah. let us know how they work. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Comment. Um, and I know all for me, like I'll put my links below to find me on Facebook for my sleep training program for my babies. Um, I have a young living group on Facebook. I have a website. I'll put all that stuff down there. So if anyone wants awesome. to connect. Yeah. And your website is the baby whisperer. I love that. Uh, and I will, yeah. And I'll post it below. So it's, it's on there. So nobody has to go searching for it. Cause there's a couple different dashes and dots and you know, <laughs> is it the dash baby .com? I think so. Yeah. Okay. But I just like to make sure I'm going to post it too. Cause I, so I don't say it wrong, but sure. doesn't it just, yeah. I think it just pops right up. Okay. Awesome. And mine is Joe Pronger Faulkner.com. And my group is Holistic Healing for Autoimmune Warriors. So yeah, between, between Christy and I, we can help with all kinds of things, all kinds of wellness and baby sleep training and adult sleep training. <laughs> Everything. 
all the things yeah, yeah. all the things yeah. for wellness and yep. yeah so happy holidays everyone and Christy, it was Hi, lovely to see you again as usual. I love our, I love our chats. Always. It's mostly laughing. <laughs> yeah. Best medicine ever. Yeah. Just Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, my dear. All right. See you later. Bye.